Hello and welcome to our how-to tutorial. My name is Fritz Engleitner from Gamma Dental. Today I would like to show you how to verify and if necessary to calibrate the reference cell articulator. For checking the articulator, you need the reference calibration key, the SL adjustment set type 2, and plaster, for example, GC Fuji Rock type 4. Or you can use plaster of other brands with a similar characteristic. Now we will show you how to calibrate the articulator step by step. Open the articulator and then clean the surfaces around the magnet in the upper and lower articulator part carefully. Remove the incisal pin unit, as well as the incisal table. Put the calibration key into the articulator. Open the calibration key and mount the upper part from the key to the upper part of the articulator. Do not close the articulator when the calibration key is closed. This can damage the key. Check if the calibration key closes well and solid. There should be no gap between the upper and the lower part of the key. You can check if there is a light gap between the upper and the lower part of the key. Or you can check by hand if you can feel a difference, or you may use a shimstock foil for verification. Obviously this articulator does not fulfill the precision requirements and needs calibration. Open the articulator and remove the calibration key. Separate upper and lower parts of the articulator. Remove the retaining collars on both sides. Remove the old axis and casings on both sides. Insert the casings on both sides from the outside into the guides and screw them tightly. The wrench should be turned a further 25 degrees from the first pressure point. Insert white TCI elements into the condylar housings. Adjust the angle at 40 degrees SCI and 10 degrees TCI. Remove the centric locks and the SCI inserts. Attach the adjustment blocks and close the fixing screw. Take care that the adjustment blocks are mounted parallel. Insert the calibration key to the lower member of the articulator. Mount the upper member. Move the O-rings of the articulator axis into a slightly medium position. Insert the axis into the guide of the adjustment blocks. Apply moderate counter pressure with the other hand. Axis has to be in precise contact with the TCI insert. Take care that there is no movement between the TCI insert holder and the condyle housing. Close the screw to fixate the axis. Slide in the centric o-ring using the red casing. Make a rotary movement for an easier application of the red casing. Fix the axis with plaster on both sides of the articulator. The plaster should have a quite viscous consistency. Wipe of the overflow. Allow the plaster to harden for 30 minutes at least. Then open the screws from the adjustment blocks and remove them in outward direction. Open the adjustment key and remove the upper part of the articulator. Equip the condyle housing with a white SCI insert and a centric lock. Remove the adjustment blocks and attach the retaining collars to the axes.
Mount the incisal pin unit and slide the incisal pin to the lowest position. Mount the incisal table. Connect upper and lower part of the articulator and close the centric lock. Move the retaining collars to the centric locks and fix them with an Allen key from back and below. Make sure that there is no gap between the collars and the centric lock. Finally, check if the calibration key closes well and solid. We hope that our tips were useful. If you have any questions please write us an email or ask your local distributor. We hope you continue to enjoy working with Gamma products. Thank you for watching.